friends welcome to inside text this is a platform to learn about power transmission elements and its control system so friends continuing in the substation control panel 66k breaker to panel schedule this will be the third video of this series we have made many videos about different kinds of wirings about different kinds of panels you can visit all the links in the description box and visit our youtube channel and see much more videos we have also made many videos about different kinds of transformer testing about different kinds of battery charger battery charging maintenance work right uh, all the links are mentioned in the description box please visit all the videos so we have already discussed what is a breaker to panel schedule basically the wiring done between the breaker circuit breaker and the panel is called the wiring schedule so we were discussing about this schedule in uh, our videos we have also seen the requirement of making the schedule why it is required and we have considered the two main parts of this wiring schedule first one is the control of the breaker that is covered in part 1 okay and second is monitoring the healthiness of the breaker that is covered in part 2 and uh, also we are going to cover the same topic in this video also so for control of breaker we have seen this 1 to 9 points okay we have covered this uh, basically control means turning on and turning off of the circuit breaker right and what kind of wirings are done for that all are covered second is the indication of the breaker so post close supervision uh, breaker open indication breaker close indication breaker close semaphore spring charge indication okay so these are the basic indications of operation of the breaker and now let us continue in this section further so in indications we will today see about different kinds of indication so now let's start the uh, schedule for the annunciation circuit and giving digital inputs to digital relay okay so what all things we will need for annunciation circuit will be annunciation common ss6 gas pressure low annunciation uh, whenever the ss6 gas is lower than specified limits for the breaker then there will be a lockout in the breaker so we have to give annunciation for ss6 gas pressure lockout then we will be starting about digital relay inputs okay so relay input uh, we will need common for that then as uh, input for ss6 gas lockout and cb open status uh these are some very basic uh, input we have taken uh, according to the requirement of relays you can take many other inputs that are required okay so now let us see in the panel drawing uh, we will see the common uh, annunciation common okay so over here and in this panel diagram you can see this is the sf6 gas pressure uh, low uh, annunciation windows okay so we will be doing the wiring for this two switch okay so let us see it in detail okay so you have ss6 gas pressure low this is the common that we are having and it is coming connected on sx6 one terminal okay so we will have annunciation common uh, x6 one terminal l103 then we will be using this low uh annunciation switch okay so it is connected on uh, x62 and it is having ferrule of l117 right next we want is this for sf6 gas pressure lockout annunciation so it is just besides this so this will be using x3 x63 okay uh, and uh, we can get the output from x64 okay now for that uh, what we have to do we have to provide this common loop right now uh, 
let us see in the breaker side for SF6 gas pressure blocking alarm and SF6 pressure low alarm. Blocking is the lockout, okay? And this is uh, SF6 gas pressure low alarm, right? For we have X132, okay? And L7 is the enunciation common, okay? And X133. So you will have to give the loop of uh, L103 from X132 to X124. Let us uh, see how it is done. Okay, just for uh, SF6 pressure low, you can get it from X133, that is L8, right? And when we are using for SF6 gas pressure lockout, we will be using this switch, okay? And for that, this loop is required from X132 to X124, okay? And you can use the output at X125, that will be L4, right? I hope this is clear. Now, we will be moving on for the binary status input, okay? This is the diagram of relay that is uh, available in the panel diagram and these are all the digital inputs that are given to the relay. So, this is the common, okay, K201 is the common, okay, and it is, uh, so you can see various digital inputs that are given over here. So, CB open uh, status, CB lockout status, okay, so for that we have relay binary status, okay, so K201, K201 at X417, uh, okay, then for RCB lockout input is X418, okay, X418 and K205. And for CB open status, similarly 16 and K203, you can get this, you can use this, okay, as the relay binary inputs. Now, uh, again, moving on the breaker side. So, on the breaker side, we have seen this is the Blocking alarm again. We have to do wiring for the switch. So X126 will be the common, and output will be taken from this X1 K27 at L6 will be the ferrule. And again, to check the CB open status on the breaker side, we will have to use the auxiliary switch of the circuit breaker. So let us see that diagram. So this will be the auxiliary switch uh, of the circuit breaker and we will be using this switch. Okay, this is already NC switch and we know that the diagram is in the breaker off condition and this is NC. Okay, so we can uh, e easily know the status that is CB open status. So we have to provide common to this. So we will have to give the link of K201 from X126, this one to x3113 over here x3113 one of the auxiliary switch contacts okay and we will get output over here x3114 u52 right so this is about the annunciation circuit and various input digital inputs given to the digital relay uh, as told earlier you can use all this different context of uh, relay and give uh, according to your protection scheme you can give many different inputs to the digital release also so friends this is the complete breaker schedule uh, we have completed today in this video and uh, uh, you can now learn about this uh, and you can apply this in any breaker to any panel schedule so basic concept is whenever you know about tripping coil. So you have to do wiring for remote closing and protection trip, protection supervision. Okay. So post and pre-close supervision, right? So, and when you're talking about annunciation, so you have different kind of annunciations. Then when you talk about digital inputs, so you, as we have discussed various kinds of inputs. So this is the general and very basic schedule that we have prepared. Based on this, you can prepare any breaker to panel schedule for your further use. I hope uh, this has been helpful to you and you can ask any queries in our comments section below.
let us know what you want to learn in future videos we will be very eager to uh, know your ideas know your concepts and we will be making many more videos in the future based on your comments keep watching our videos and showing your support to us thank you